Hi everyone, I'm Rena Kay. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. In a few seconds, I will show you three methods of how you can create your very own wall tapestry. Hint, hint. This is one of them. Anyways, I wanted to create my own wall tapestry because one, you get a unique tapestry that's unlike any other one. Two, it's way cheaper and you save so much money. So, if you're interested in seeing how I did it, let's go. To begin, gather your supplies such as paint and tie-dye. Then, put something down like a tablecloth to protect your workspace from getting dirty. Next, grab a sheet. I used a bed sheet, which was way too big, as you can tell. I just got cocooned by it. So then I decided to cut it in half, that way I had two smaller pieces I could work with. To make a tapestry by tie-dyeing, pinch your sheet in the center and then twist it around. Then separate the cloth into sections by putting rubber bands around. Now it's time to start tie-dyeing. Dye each of the sections with a different color. And try not to make a huge mess like I did. When you're done, place the sheet in a plastic bag and set it aside for a day. After it's sat for 24 hours, you can take it out of the bag and unravel it. Make sure you let it dry completely before hanging it up because you don't want to stain your walls. And as you can tell by my face, I was pretty happy with the results. If you're painting your tapestry, lay down your sheet and mix some acrylic paint with water so, th so that it's diluted and it won't make the tapestry as stiff when the paint dries. Next, I took a sponge and I just dabbed on the paint for my background. Because my sheet was thin enough, I decided to fold it in half and then paint so that the paint would go through both sides and save me the time of having to paint the whole thing. When my background dried, I painted the palm trees and words on top. Shout out to Harry Potter fans who noticed I was wearing a Gryffindor hat. The last method is super simple. Just search up a design, I chose a yin yang symbol, and then print it onto a design transfer sheet. You can order them online or buy them from your local craft store. All you have to do is follow the instructions on the package. For mine, I had to print the design onto the transfer sheet and then iron my design on to my tapestry. Easy enough.
There you have it. Three methods you can use to create your own wall tapestry. If you like this video, feel free to like it or share it with your friends. And if you want to see more of the things I create, subscribe. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye!